gentlemen, contest number two is four three-minute rounds of boxing in the featherweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the white colour shorts, trimmed with black. At the weight, he scaled eight stone, 11 pounds. Tonight, he hails from the steel city of Sheffield, presenting Anwar Al-Fadli. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the blue colour shorts, trimmed with white. At the weight, he scaled eight stone, 13 pounds, seven ounces. Tonight, he makes his proud professional debut, hailing from Marsh Lane, Liverpool, presenting Sean Carney. Timekeeper at the bell, Philip Morris. And the referee in charge of the action, Mr. Mark Lyson from Anfield, for three minute rounds. Okay, boys, both know the rules. I want you to obey my commands, tell you to break, break cleanly, defend yourselves at all times, boys. Glutty both. Yeah, we've got four three-minute rounds. Sean Cairns against so Amwar al Fadi. Just at Bantamweight today. Yeah, like we were saying, Tom, since the Olympia went down the planet, then your area's needed something like this, hasn't it, for you Liverpool lads to get on? Yeah, we've uh, we've struggled, haven't we? All the lads have been going up to uh, Wigan, Robin Park and Lee. So it's good to have, have, a, have a base back, back in Liverpool where everyone can get on, all the local lads. One less reason to go to Lee as well. Yeah, <laughs> there's not much going on there, is there? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd had a little look at this with uh, Steve and no, it looks like a great little venue. I think we've waited a little bit too long for it though, Tom, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you could argue that, yeah. How far he just put a left hand over then, didn't he? Just trying to welcome Cairns to the pro game. You know much about Sean? Tom? Yeah, I know Sean well. Um, he's boxed out of Rydal and I've there seen him go, in his amateur days. At, at, uh, he was at North Mersey. So, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a good lad. He, he was meant to have a debut a few months ago, but yeah. something went on with the board. So, it's good to see him finally get out. He was just saying, didn't he? Um, short amateur career, but it, just a year ago, wasn't it? He won the novices in the under 10s. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised he never went in and done the under 20s and you know, so on, but he's, he's, he's getting on a little bit. <laughs> he wouldn't mind me saying so, you know, he's not. He doesn't want to waste no time. He's, and he's, he's a good lad. He's getting straight to it here. Yeah, he looks about, doesn't he? He doesn't look. Like ner nerves aren't affecting him at all. Nice and relaxed, isn't he? Yeah. South Boy doesn't switch at all. No. There's some size difference as well. He's yeah. Quite quite big, isn't he? Good job. Awful customer this fella, though, isn't he? Al Fadley, yeah, he's he's. I bet I've, just looking at his, down his record, he's, he's you know he's lost every fight for a good two and a half years. Now he picked up a draw then, but. You can just see he's a bit irky jerky, isn't he? A bit yeah. difficult to predict, it's a bit unorthodox. I can see him coming on to one. Sean starts finding his, his range and his time. You know, he's breaking the body up well already right in this round. Game enough, like he's throwing plenty of punches back, isn't he? He is, yeah. He's, yeah, he's from Sheffield. It, 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 showing some like low grade Nassim moves there, isn't he? Or <laughs> it, putting himself in arm's way. Sh what's Sean's? Uh, has he got a dig? I haven't really noticed just that he's, he's, a, he's a massive puncher, but he's definitely big for the weight. I, I remember him boxing a lot heavier than this as an amateur. So I'm really surprised he's, he's got, got down to this rate and he look, looks good for it. He, he, he looks technically good as well, doesn't he? So yeah. there's going to be some power. No, the lads are good at, good at Rizal, Jim, Robbie Butler and D. Yeah. No, they know what they're doing. He's been around the game for years, so I'm impressed with what, what he's been doing with the lads so yeah. far. First round in the bank there for Sean Cairns. His pro career is off to a good start. How about you, Tom? You know, after the Davis fight, you took yourself on holiday for a bit, had a bit of time away, but you're back yeah. into it now. Yeah, they had a little bit week away with, uh, with my girlfriend and then... Um, Back to it, really. I haven't stayed out of the gym. I've been back in the gym training, just just taking over. I've been, I've been saying before, I've been enjoying enjoying training, but not really sort of to look at or to focus on. Just just enjoying training again, and working on little bits and bits and bobs, and adding working on stuff, adding stuff to my game. So a good little rest over the next day, the next two months, and then back at it fully. Then in, in the new year, and you know, looking to 
get back in in title contention within within the next obviously, next year. Ten seconds. obviously get get back to winning ways looking at February and then you know later on in the year start pushing on then Second not looking down. to Round you two. won't be looking to drop back like six rounders and stuff like that, will you, Tom? You know, you've been up at title level no, now no, for, for yeah. a good 18 yeah. months, haven't you? Yeah, I've done, you know, I've done the little six rounders to keep busy with Chris Hadaway. Um, that was just to tip to, 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 to me over, really, and, and keep me in the gym. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 28 this month, so, you know, I want big fights, but I understand I'll have to, I'll have to earn them, so I'll have to get back, back to winning ways, but I'll be ready to take on anyone now, you know, I'm not undefeated no more. So uh, I'll have to make that to shut my mouth off and get myself a few fights. <laughs> Everyone else is doing it. Yeah, it seems to work, doesn't it? Yeah. We were saying before, Tom, about how good the uh, £140 division is at the moment in Britain. Yeah, booming. You know, in this city alone, you've got, you've got, you've got plenty. So, um, and, uh, if you look at the rest of the country, and there's loads, loads coming through. No, I'm 28 now, so I'm not no spring chicken. You've got the kids who are turning over now, we're 21, 22, we're hot on our heels. So, yeah, it's, it's an exciting division, isn't it, for, for everyone? That just means there's more opportunities, doesn't it? You know, if if one does go wrong, you're not completely out of the picture. There's always going to be different routes back in. There's always going to be more attractive opponents for you. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm, I'm all always good to good to that at the time. You know, it's it was a it was a big risk for me to take, but. I think on a, a, a different night it would, it would have been a different story. It's just I found out that you can't switch off at that level. Um, and you know, I'm looking forward to, to getting getting back in the in the mix. You know, I've got unfinished business with, with that fight. I feel like I never really had a fight because because of how it went, how it went. so I'm looking forward to getting back in and get getting in the ring. Yeah, so far Sean Kens hasn't taken his mind off it at all, has he? You know he's not switched off once. No. Look pretty good so far. No, he's looking very composed. Making a uh, making the other fella miss. Can't even pronounce his name. Al Fadi. Yeah, good effort. Amwa, you can call him. Amwa. First name terms. He's been in with Paul Butler a couple of times. Al Fadi. Tell you what, great little shout out, Foz. Wouldn't have known that. You've been on Boxer. Yeah. I was at the first one. He'll tell you the date now and venue. It was on the undercard. Of, uh, of, Derry, of Derry's fight against Derry Matthews' fight against Emiliano Marsili. He was at the, at the Olympia on the 20th of January 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for putting everyone asleep. I remember that night actually with Derry and Marsili. Yeah. That Marsili could fight, couldn't he? Southpaw, man. Southpaw, left hand, yeah. Derry's still nose. going on, Marsili. Check his record. I, I, I think he's still probably not even lost, has he? Or just lost one. But he's just stayed out of harm's way since he did that to Derry. I think he, I think he's lost once. But he's, I think he's 42 now. Well, no other good round in the bank there for Sean Cairns. I think he come and had a little bit more of a goal there, though, Al Fadi. I think he's fancying it a little bit, so it'll be good to see Sean. Sean there, Sean was past this round. That's what you want, isn't it, old Tom? You want someone to leave gaps and open up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. There's nothing worse than, you know, Jamie who's just going to shell up and run away. Ken's that... It's hard to say a decent amateur pedigree, isn't it? Because he had so few fights. But it obviously marked him out as being able, you know, being a talent. And yeah. if Alfadi does leave gaps, then he should be good enough to just exploit them. Yeah, uh, you, you're not a... You know, slouch if you if you won a national title, whether yeah. it be under 10 level, under 20 level, you've still got, got, gone all the way. You know, Corners, the best in the country, so he's a, he's a good, good kid, and it's good to see how he does. Seconds out. Round three. Luke Fleming asking when's Callum Pearson on? Um, he's going to be on. Good. What we're saying there, one, two, with, with reckon around 8.45. <coughs> Maybe just heading towards 9 o'clock for Callum Pearson tonight. Better, you see? As you see, uh, Foz was saying earlier, Sean was supposed to make his debut on that Birkenhead bill, wasn't he, with yeah. uh, Masha Dodd, but medical problems. Didn't he have um, a problem with his appendix or something? Some kind of tumour on his appendix? 
it was his, it was his eyes. Was it? It was a, it That's was a, a problem with that. Issue with his eyes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I think in the past he's had some kind of problems with his appendix, and that resulted in a bit of a layoff. Maybe. I think he brought an old operational that he had to put. Oh. Don't want to be any ill effects here. Just stepping off his knee, though. Now what's it what's it like on your debut, Tom? Do you get like a, a bit of an adrenaline dump after a couple of rounds, you know, when the excitement's gone eat? My nerves are shot. Yeah. Yeah. In the Olympia. I think I ended up doing six twos. I was trained for four threes and then got told on night I could only do six twos because of something to do with my opponent, but I think I was glad. I think I was blowing. <laughs> blowing after three rounds. <laughs> Yeah, the, the night, night here, you'll, you'll never forget. Lovely venue to, to do it as well. It's boxing well here, letting, uh, letting Adolfi come on. Come on a little bit. Find his range a bit better. Lovely shot. Yeah, nice right up there. Just spins away, Cairns. Takes one back, though. He fancies himself a little bit here, Adolfi. He does, doesn't he? He's an unusual sort of journeyman. You know, he's he's letting, letting big shots go like that. Not many journeymen just lean back and throw right and counter, do they? Ooh, that looked like it is. Just Lovely. No pecker There we go. Yeah, he's very uh, very lively for the for the journey when he hasn't hasn't won for a, a few years. Boys are unusual, aren't we? Quite a lot of these guys we just have a look for a round or two, don't yeah. we? You know, see if there's anything doing, see if there's a chance of an upset. And if he, if he don't feel there is one, we just go into the shell. Maybe he's just sent something. Yeah, maybe he's uh, took a few shots early on and thought he fancies a little goal. Took one at the end there, though. Didn't look like he uh, done, done a bit of damage. Coming up for a fourth and final round. You're having a debate before, Farrell. Is that a bold spot? <laughs> it is, I'm isn't it? Fuzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd go for that. That's Daddy where he got his uh, his uh, <laughs> his transplant. Don't he might be able to sort it out. Fuzz don't give anything to Daddy. He just takes. No, because he's too scared to get him <laughs> frightened by him in the gym. I missed that. I'm gonna have to get Daddy to get back on that. Looking at Daddy's story every day and just seeing you starstruck. <laughs> You might miss it, mate. I certainly so don't. Out. I was getting Before worried about you that one. Final point. round. You know what? The number, the number of times people have come in that gym and say, I'm surprised you haven't had a heart attack yet. That's just because of what you eat. It doesn't help that you're bringing me chocolate, does it? What's the, uh, the idea of an opponent who, you know, loads of head movements on me? Throw at his chest and body? Yeah, body, obviously the head's moving, the body. The body won't be moving near as much, so that's it. He's targeting it well there, uh, especially when he's squared on, that'll, that'll, have, uh, that'll have hurt. He's picking his punch as well. Ooh. Caught there, though. Yeah, nice left hand again. That's better, Sean. Well, as we said, though, a much better opponent at this than someone who's just going to clam open. You know, hide behind a high guard for four rounds. Much better. Let's Ken show more. It yeah. opens up gaps, makes it more interesting for everybody watching. Yeah, that's a real sense of what, what boxing is about, isn't it? You're not just boxing of a heavy bag that's. Not going to throw anything. And it helps with opponents, doesn't it, as well, Tommy? I know you obviously sell a lot of tickets for your debut, but trying to get people to come back if they're just watching your box against someone yeah. who's clammed up. Yeah, of course, yeah. When people think you, you know, you're boxing someone who's lost 
80 and 90 fights, then I'm thinking obviously it's a gimme, but it's not always the case. As you can see, this he might be a journeyman, he might not, not have won for a few years, but he's in there and he's, he's throwing, he's, he's, uh, he's giving Sean a good, good, good test. Very awkward with the way he's moving his head. Busy time for VIP boxing at the moment. Seems to have been on every week for a few weeks. Next week we've got the big UK versus Africa show at the Victoria Warehouse. Uh, a few WBC silver titles on silver international titles on the line there with British fighters taking on African opponents. Bit of an uh, unusual dual promotion. And then we've got a couple more shows, including the two famous Jolly Boys. Now Liverpool's got an event, hasn't it, as well? Yeah. I've sold five tables, I'm not even fighting. <laughs> I believe Foz took his laptop last year, didn't he? <laughs> Something about a lap. <laughs> <laughs> Testing the camera, I believe. Foz was skinned that day. <laughs> Oh, shot, Sean, fast hands, come on now, very strong. Oh. There we go, good four rounds that for Sean Cairns. Like you said, Tommy, got a real sense of yeah. just what boxing is there. Uh, well, I, uh, I think Sean's def definitely got that. Um, but yeah, it, it, went, it went as one side as you thought it was going to be at the start. Good, good, good test for him. Nice debut. Mark, Mark Lyson scoring it. Michael Pash just getting up into the ring. We'll get the... Looking very impressed with the way things are going. And we'll just get the official score from Michael Pass. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, referee Mark Lyson has adjudged this contest 39 points to 38 points for your winner. On his proud professional debut, hailing from Liverpool, Sean Carney. There you go, 39-38, closer than we had it. Yeah, must have, uh, must have seen something we never. Yeah, it, it looked like I'm right. You know, he's throwing me odd white, big shot, but generally just falling short, wasn't he? And Sean was definitely landing the cleaner, but obviously Mark Lyson saw something different. I think, yeah, the right more, more, I think you definitely could have given maybe a share, share of it rather. But, yeah. Uh, I'm that Sean the mic.